अप्लाई द नॉर्टन्स थेरम टू फाइंड करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू फोर होम रेजिस्टेंस वी हैव टू फाइंड करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस फोर होम रेजिस्टेंस यूजिंग नॉर्टन्स थेरम सोल्यूशन लेट से दिस इज टर्मिनल ए एंड दिस इज टर्मिनल बी सो दिस विल बी अवर आर एल आर एल इज इक्वल टू फोर ओम देन नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आर एन दैट इज नॉर्टन्स रेजिस्टेंस एंड आई एन दैट इज नॉर्टन्स करंट सो फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड आर एन टू फाइंड आर एन we have to remove this rl and short circuit the voltage source so we have to remove this rl and short circuit the voltage source now here we can see This six ohm and six ohm are connected in parallel. So six ohm parallel with six ohm. So this will be six into six divided by six plus six. Six into six divided by six plus six. Here we can see when the resistors are same that time and connected in parallel that time its value will get half. So it is three ohm. So we can replace these resistors with single three ohm resistor. So this will be of three ohm. Now here we can see this three ohm is connected with seven ohm in series. So this will be ten ohm. Now this ten ohm connected in parallel with this twelve ohm, so ten ohm parallel with twelve ohm. This will be ten into twelve divided by ten plus twelve. Ten into twelve divided by ten plus twelve. So it is five point four five. Five point four five ohm. This is the value for R n. So therefore, R n is equal to five point four five ohm. Now we have the value for R l and R n. Next, we have to find I n. That is Norton's current. So to find I n, we have to short circuit the terminal A and B. so we have to remove this rl and short circuit the terminal a and b and this current will be ish short circuit current which is equal to in that is norton's current now when we short circuit terminal a and b that time this 12 ohm will be zero so we can redraw this circuit and remove this 12 ohm now we have to find this in by using current division rule or we can also use here nodal analysis so we will use current division rule by using current division rule in is equal to in is equal to total current let's say total current is i the current will flow from positive terminal to negative terminal so this will be current i total current i so i multiplied by now we have to find current through this 7 ohm branch so its parallel branch is 6 ohm so 6 ohm divided by 6 plus this 7 this is the current division rule then we have to find this current i total current i to get the value of i n
now we can find this i by using ohm's law i is equal to v by r v here is 10 volt and r is we have to solve this circuit so r will be 6 plus now this 7 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in parallel so this will be 7 into 6 7 into 6 divided by 7 plus 6 so it is 10 divided by 6 plus 7 into 6 divided by 7 plus 6 so it is 1.08 1.08 0.08 ampere is the value of total current I. From this we can find the value of I n. So I n will be the value for this current I is 1.08 multiplied by 6 divided by 6 plus 7. So therefore I n is equal to 1.08 multiplied by 6 divided by 6 plus 7 so it is 0 0.498 0 0.498 ampere is the value for current i n now we can draw norton's equivalent circuit so it will be current source in parallel with Register and this will be RL. This is RL, this is RN, and this is IN. The value for IN is 0 0.498 ampere. The value for RN is 5.45 5 5.45 ohm this is the value of Rn then the value for Rl is 4 ohm so it is 4 ohm and this is current Il now we have to find this current Il so IL is equal to again we have to use here current division rule so according to current division rule this will be 0 0.498 multiplied by 5. parallel branch resistance that is 5.45 5 divided by 5.45 plus 4 so this will be the value of IL 0 0.498 multiplied by 5.45 divided by 5.45 plus 4 so it is 0 0.287 0 0.287 ampere is the value of IL what we have to find we have to find Apply the Norton's theorem to find current flowing through 4 ohm resistance. So we have to find the current flowing through this 4 ohm resistance using Norton's theorem. So here we can see the current flowing through this 4 ohm is 0 0.287 ampere. This is the final answer.